I've been fighting my battle for for the Emperor and I got all those battle scars. AliExpress edition. <laughs> I'm trying to cosplay, but I don't have armor. So <laughs> continue. Wait, continue. You guys, it didn't save? Okay, so this is where we stopped. So we finally got there. The navigator's sanctum is directly along the passageway. We met this I'm Adira that person. Emperor that we are not too late. The crazy psyker. And so she will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Mistress, watch your head. Oh. Idira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? Oh, yeah. Oh, she predicted. was too close. She predicted that and I was like, just, huh? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> yeah, she's Sorry, cool. old man. The voices are so loud. I can't even hear myself. They shriek. They sing. They... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and divine of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Idira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate to die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. The entity in your consciousness shrinks and crawls in deeper, its claws scraping against the walls of your mind as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. And you, you are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. Vox Skull. You hear a few clicks from the relays on a servo skull, uh, which has followed you all the way here, and Theodora's scrambled words give way to a voice vaguely familiar to you. Officer's frequency. To all who can hear me, those with a weapon in their hands are together on the officer's deck at once. I repeat. That's Edelthrad. Oh, Emperor's Providence. The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelthrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it. You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. How do you know who I am? What are you doing here? What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> this vo voice I actress. I have seen the footsteps of your past reminds and the me wounds of your heart. of the uh, of the Shadow Gambit. Um, uh, character. Is it the same voice actress? Or she just sounds like her because of the accent? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make Can out among hear? all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium. But it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Said, without a doubt. 
<laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator Sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. Oh my god, we must save the Navigator as well. Oh no. No, 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 no. Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <clears throat> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Uh, okay, so like one character. Okay, we know that. All right. Finally, some new content for me at least. A piece of pipe I left a noticeable dent in the floor. That would have killed me. Fire destroy the field. Don't keep our master waiting. All right, how about I destroy you instead? I always have a backup. The plan. emperor is with us. All right, this is a who? A deer. I don't even know uh, what like what can she do? Let's put her over here. Like, what are her skills? I guess like as a psyker, she's doing a bunch of ma magic BS. Um, let's put our boy, boy. Uh, I keep, I, I keep, I want to call him Ar Arglublarg. <laughs> Albar, Alblard. I, I can't remember. How do you spell his name? I mean, pronounce his name. Abelard. Uh, yeah, closer to the enemies so that he can attack immediately. And Irene, a little bit further, like over here. That she can snipe from a safe safety of a I don't know what this even thing even is. Looks like a it's like an engine of some sort. Okay, Adira is a psyker and an operative. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify their weaknesses. Oh, we have that too, because we are operative too. They, her psyker abilities allow her to deal damage to them. Analyze enemies and is an operative ability, which applies the exploit effects to all enemies. Exploit effects, uh, damage over time effects, characteristic and parameter modifier modifiers, control effects. Um, to all enemies within the operative's line of sight. At the start of each of the operative's turns, the operative can also use this ability against a specific enemy to inflict several stacks of this effect. The higher the operative's intelligence bonuses, the more exploit stacks will be inflicted. Uh, whenever the operative hits a target with an exploit applied to them, the attack deals additional damage. The amount of extra damage depends on a target's number to, of, of exploits, attacks, and the operative's perception. Expo expose the weakne weakness ability. Which, okay, w we know this. Armed with a special staff that allows a psyker to unleash psy psychic powers against enemies. Oh, okay, mage bullshit. In the future, you will encounter staffs that only a psyker versed in a certain discipline can use. For example, you might find a staff that lets a psyker use Inferno, but to do so, they must first have the Pyromancy Psychic Discipline lore. Okay, gotcha. Like, fire magic. Mm. So, uh, it's her turn now. Alright. I wonder what does the skull mean? Uh, wait, let me see. 22, 7. Alright, this guy is the strongest here. So let's expose. Expose his... Wait, where is it? For warning, Priestess Target is dark now. Psychic Shriek. Oh, and, oh, this one. Analyze. Analyze this guy. 
All right, now we know their vulnerabilities. Let's shoot a... Shoot a... Uh, lightning arc. Is it enough? I hope it's enough. No! Okay. That is not my Too day far! Day. Okay, she needs to move out a little bit. Let's move over here. There is movement in the Empyrean. Now? Yes. On it. On it. Noise. Okay, no one. No wars. Ambalard is just gonna. Wait, he, he has to move first. And now strike. I took care of this one. Stop mocking me. You can use hologram to gauge the effectiveness of your intended actions in combat before taking them. Click left mouse button in any accessible cell in the battlefield to place the character's hologram there. Select an ability or a single shot attack to see the expected outcome. The action will be displayed as if used from a hologram's location to set your to let your uh, to let you assess whether you have picked an effective position. Oh, oh okay. Wait, where is it? Okay. Uh, so it's Nyrene's turn. Can we shoot this guy from over here? Let me see. Who, if not me? Who, if not me? Who is this man, Tigan? No! My gut tells me. L oh, yeah, because he's behind idea. this thing. Okay, then let's go for one of these guys. You never stood a chance. Faced worse than this. Ah! Dodged. Too fast to die. I dodged 500 enemy attacks with your party members. What? I've only been playing this for a few hours. How did that happen? Attack denial. Characters with melee weapons block adjacent enemies' ability to perform attacks with ranged weapons. Pistols and shotguns are exception for this to this rule. Those can be fired at point blank oh okay okay but i have a sniper rifle what am i supposed to do now uh, okay this is uh, idira okay idira help me help me here oh we might get friendly fired with this look at that yeah yeah we might i like i don't want to do this i don't want to do this let's finish this guy Anything else? <gasps> oh shit! Oh no, I didn't know that whoever is in the in the I thought that like oh, only the person shit. I, I didn't see. I didn't I didn't ah! <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> They're dead now. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway who's in in the uh in the trajectory of the shot Oh what are those ghosts? Wait. I just saw it. Oh <gasps> I see dead people. I see dead people. What the hell is this? I don't know who the romance options are yet. So don't spoil it for me, guys, please. But yeah, yeah, knowing that you can romance a, a, a sister of battle definitely sucks. Like, it's, I feel like it's one of those characters that everybody has dirty thoughts about and everybody wants to romance and oh, why did they not make make them romanceable maybe they do have like a wow vow of uh chastity they're nuns they are nuns like you cannot romance a nun can you okay we did the thing I wonder if this, like, analyze enemies works for everyone. And, uh, other, uh, other characters will, will be able to, um, to, like, do additional damage or whatever to the analyzed, uh, enemy. Or is it, is it just her? Because it's her skill. 
Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh no, Abelard is too far. Oh no, no, you know what? He's not too far. He so is not too we far can. because we can do uh, this. It will be done. Choo! The creature in the chair appears as if it has become one with its throne. You see pink parchment-like skin stretched between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being. The navigator is breathing heavily, the air whistling as it exits through the two dark gill-like slits on its cheeks. The creature's eyes are shut, the two ordinary eyes as well as the third one that sits in the center of its forehead. I believe Master Vespidas still lives. Abelard flinches at the sight of the stretched skin and dark marks in the face of the creature. The servants are dead. The chamber, I think the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. Give him a pointed look. What's wrong with him? Approach. Hey, are you alive? Okay, give Abelard a pointed look. Uh, Master Vespidas. Ves wait, Ma <coughs> Master Vespiatas. Vespiatas. Okay, I hope I pronounced that correctly. The navigator stirs, barely able to lift his head and half open his normal eye. Eyes. A dark drop rolls under the closed lid of the third eye, and down the face, leaving behind a black trail. Your time is short. The voice is coming from the Vox grill at the base of the bizarre chair. It's unclear how the navigator is able to produce human speech. Our time is short to do what? Are you alright? You're in need of help. We have to get you out of that chair. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Are you alright? And obviously not. Suddenly the navigator's body starts thrashing in place. It lurches forward, then falls back into the seat, then thrusts forward again as it bones, as his bones crack and its skin tears open. However, the fusion between the body and the chair appears to be stronger than these wild Im impet impetuses. The mutant remains seated, but leans as far forward as he can, his layered raiment slowly turning crimson. The gill slits burst open, forming two hideous screaming mouth-like pits. Fall to your knees, mortals! And behold the final dawn. Oh shit, that's scary. It came from beyond. His body is not his. Dira's scream is echoed by the silent cries in your head. The unseen creature triumphs at the sight of the navigator, succumbing to the para paroxysm of corruption. Its, mo uh, its march thunders under the burden of hopes. Unseal your hearts, and I will flood your souls with myriads of words and meanings, each one a portent of salvation within oh, yeah, within me. The navigator continues to convulse violently in, in his seat, shrieking and cackling, but then his fits stop abruptly. His face is drenched in black and crimson. The dark ooze from under his third eyelid has turned from a trickle into a stream mixed with the blood coming out of his nose and there is purplish swelling around the eye run free uh, flee from this place while i still have the strength the words come out of the vox as a labored rattle i can contain the intrusion but not for long we must begin the translation leave the warp but it can't be done without master hell uh helmsman's helmsman's help who torments you? I want to help you. Tell me now. I cannot bear to see his agony any longer. I would rather put an end to it. Address Abelard. The navigator is still alive, but barely so. What do we do now? The ship can only begin the trans the translation with the assistance of the master helmsman. If he's still alive, it is worth a try. We must get to the bridge, but we need to support. Uh, but we need support. Our only option is to fight our way through the um fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edelthrod Edel and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. She must have heard the call to arms that the servers call replayed us to us earlier. Deer reaches her hand out towards the navigator, but pulls it back at the last moment. 
Vespiatus, good luck. And thank you. Navigator did not, does not give a response. Black tears mixed with blood uh, are streaming from under its closed eyelids. And the vox at the base of the chair is bellowing out static interest, interest burst with distant echoes of otherworldly laughter. Damn, this is sad. Maybe we should have killed it. Appears dead. Only the slight movement of his chest and the twitching of his eyelids let you know that he is still clinging to life. I mean, let's make his pain, you know, not to go not not to not to be wasted. Uh that collect all. Ooh, maybe we can use something. Hold on, let's see. Nyrene, Nyrene. Let me see how Nyrene is with the sword. Five, six, six, nine damage. Can I put it in like a melee slot? Hey. Sniper rifle. Oh, oh, over here, over here. Here? Boom. Oh, okay, okay. Like this, like this. Okay, nice. With this? Uh, it's a lace, last pistol. Last pistol, laser pistol. Ooh, this is for a psyker. Let's give it to, um, to a deer, maybe. So... Oh, wait, it's the same one. No, she doesn't need it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she looks cool. Uh, our zaddy is also armed. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Is this better than what he has? No, it's not. Alright. Switching doesn't cost anything. Oh, that's cool. Put in second set. You can switch during combat. Alternative weapons. In a combat, a character may need to use different kinds of weapons, which can be prepared in advance. Open your inventory and prepare different weapon uh -huh, sets. To switch to different weapons in combat, press X. Swapping doesn't cost action points. Okay, that's cool. Uh, have we saved? Yes. So we looted, we saved, we go. I go. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Keep your wits about you. Wait, oh my god, why are they not following Always me? Keep your eye on the Guys, so follow me, please. Follow waste time with pleasantries. Oh no, how do I make them follow? But Oh wow, I love the selection. Like the good old times. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Uh, it's locked. Okay, where do we go then? Always keep your eye on the prize. Yeah, I guess we need to go back. Yeah, back the same way. Yeah, I guess. Ho 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 ho. Uh huh. Such a Christmassy game, right, guys? Can you feel the Christmas spirit? Okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> I shall pity not your enemies. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's the sister. Oh, that's the sister. I shall betray not your tenets, nor stray one step from them. Take not your gaze from me. Leave me not without your grace. I told you he would protect us. My God. My light. My emperor. Oh my God, I got goosebumps from this. What the hell? So this is supposed... I'm supposed to be wearing an armor like this. I'm supposed to be wearing an armor, something like this, with like a huge ass backpack, with shoulders, and a breastplate. Yeah, that's me, that's me, just no, no, no armor. <laughs> I'm a sister who's about to hit the gym, because they're buff, they work out. So I guess my cosplay is a little, just a tiny bit, a tiny bit accurate, not, not really, but you know, a tiny bit. <laughs> 
The white-haired warrior turns to face you, her dark eyes blazing. The weapon quivers in her hands, and for a brief moment it seems she's not going to stop and will instead continue eliminating every target she sees, starting with you. Uh... Sister Argenta! Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? Nyrene von Valas Valancius, the Lord Captain's heir. And just who you are to be so brazen about your inquiries. I shall introduce myself after you do the same. Okay, let's be polite. She's hot. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends who are twisted by smears of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the archenemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the Dark Forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know, why are you here? Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation. So I suggest we all do just that. The Seneschal is right. There's no time to talk. Uh, remember, guys, I was asking you if there's if there's any humor in Warhammer 40k universe, and you told me that no, like there is uh, sarcasm, irony, but like no memes. Like this is not Fallout. So, like, I'm very disappointed about that. So, I'm trying to add a little bit of humor into Warhammer 40k, if you don't mind. Like, I cannot take things serious and take my games too serious. I mean, there has to be a, you know, balance and everything, but... Okay, I'm not traitor, sister. You can be sure of that. Seneschal's right, no time to talk. Do not even think to insinuate that I am one of the traitors. I will not let such an aff affront slide. Okay, yeah, I'm not a traitor. Essential is right, I'm not a traitor. If you speak truthfully, the Emperor will not forsake you. If you are lying, you will not escape his retribution. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic. Oh my god. Like, and you, and you thought Shadowheart needed to be fixed. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, okay, what is a warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas doing abroad as a rogue trader ship? Your orders uh, serve the. E oh my god, I can't. Ecle 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 Ecclesiarchy? Ecclesiarchy? Do they not? Archy. Ah, Archy. 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 Ecclesiarchy. Okay, I hope I pronounce it right. Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. <gasps> under more appropriate circumstances. Okay, maybe that's why she won't romance you because they're already, you know, they are together. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be and that will suffice. Yeah, 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 you're lovers. Gotcha, gotcha. Who are these people with you? What's happening with the officer's deck? We must go get to the main hall of the deck. Okay, who are these people? Overseer of middle deck AL84, my lady. We were rounding up everyone we could find in the attack compartments, but we ran into an ambush. Just about every enforcer fell. These are the survivors. Ah, uh, what's happening on the officer's deck? Massacre, my lady. And heretics are not just killing the crew. Some kind of blight is sweeping through the decks, filling the air. I saw people going mad the moment they breathed it in, screaming about their dead comrades, tearing out their eyes. Oh, shit. I implore you, my lady. Be on your guard. We must get to the main hall of the deck. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. Oh, I wish we had a Tector map with us, but we'll see what we can do without one. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. 
loot. Oh, oh, ooh! Oh, look! Look! Lurk! Lurk! It's lurt! See? You just click on it. Boom! Wait, how did I do this? Is there money to be made? No, 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 no! Damn it. I clicked on it and uh, it showed me the... the Show me the loot immediately. Oh, it's this. Components cargo. Oh, okay. That's uh, ammo. That's trank injectors. Miscellaneous cargo. Weaponry cargo. Components cargo. A shipment of... Oh, so, oh, so this is all... This is all for cargo. This is all for sale. Okay. This is like not... Uh, uh, I shouldn't keep this in my inventory. Okay, gotcha. Collect all. Put, the, put it all in cargo. Oh, yeah, and see, they are sorted like this. The ship components, range weaponry, and miscellaneous. Okay. Still haven't played this game. Past the tutorial. I mean, tutorial counts as game <laughs> as gameplay as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you, are you saying that I haven't played the game either because I'm still in the tutorial? <laughs> oh. Keep your wits about you. Okay. I mean, I'm very confused uh, with some things. Like this is totally new to me, the whole Warhammer thing. Oh yeah, this is a crate with goods. Oh oh, see, uh, it auto sword it auto swords what go what should go to cargo and what should go to inventory. Okay, that's cool. Oh, well-maintained sniper rifle. Is it better than Irene's? You have received a new, more efficient weapon for your character. Yay! See, I knew this. I knew this. I knew this. To upgrade your equipment, over open the inventory. You can either hold up one. Uh -huh, okay. So, um, this is Nyrene over here. Here. Here, here, here. And this is supposed to be better. Okay. So, I just... Feel... Okay. The generators hum softly. When you draw closer, your skill, skin be begins to tingle. I'm static this I always keep my options open. <laughs> Wait. Whoopsies, it's a dead end. Wait. Is there a way to... there's like a... How do... How do we go from one platform to another? Is there money to be made? <gasps> I keep getting lost in this game, I swear! I'm always like, oh, where should I go? Oh, there's a door here, okay. By the right of blood. Are those heretics? Yay, let's see. Yeah, some action. Rise to the top. Here we go again. Oh, get left in the dust. Alright, sister, let's put sister. Oh wait, who's that? Oh, there's the, okay, there are no friends here, only enemies. Let's put the sister. Over here. Nyreen around the corner. The other one around the corner too. And our Zaddy also here in front. Yeah. Oh damn, that hurt! Argenta is the warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas and a soldier. She's an expert with burst range. Oh shit! Why did I think she was she was a melee uh, fighter? Why did I put her over there? Okay. Uh, that deal um, weapons that deal damage in the area. Another of Argenta's strengths is her mobility in combat. Run and gun is a unique soldier ability. Using it grants a soldier extra movement points and reduces the cost of their next attack by minus one action point. The soldier will also suffer minus 10 penalty to their ballistic skill for this attack. Run and gun is, uh, also allows the soldier to perform an additional attack with a ranged weapon, which is handy too if you want to make more than one attack. Oh, who doesn't? In one turn. A revel in slaughter is a soldier ability which can be used once for 
each three enemies. The soldier kills in a single battle. Each activation of this ability increases the soldier's ballistic skill, critical hit chance, and critical damage. This effect stacks and less until the end of combat. Certain types of weapons let you make burst attacks. Unlike single shots, burst fire requires you to select a direction. There. Okay, okay, okay. Burst attacks are particularly effective against a cluster of enemies. Uh -huh. When performing a burst attack, the character fires several successive shots in different directions. Most of these shots are concentrated uh, in the center of the selected attack cone. Uh, therefore, the more em uh, the more enemies there are in the center of this area, the more of them will be there. Okay, okay. Yeah, burst can be uh, friendly fired. So, well, uh, damn it. Unfortunately, I. I'm standing here. I can't do anything with this guy, but we could try this run and gun. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay, and that is not the Can I Emperor's be used will. I refuse. Enemies? Oh damn! So this guy is next to her. She cannot shoot like at all. I thought that she cannot shoot at him. She cannot shoot whatsoever. Damn it. Okay, that was a dumb move of me. Uh, grants memento, additional momentum for each enemy. Mm. And she doesn't have any melee weapon equipped. Uh, we should have taken care of that before. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable? That is not the Emperor's will. Damn. Girl, I refuse. Is it because it's in battle, or like she just doesn't have the skill? I failed. I failed. So we're just gonna skip our turn here. Uh, all right, Abelard, go clear the way for her. I wonder if he does the, um, if he does the not the cleave, but the wait, 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 this one, this one, the charge. If he's going to, yes, he's going to. He's going to um, friendly fire her. No, we don't want that. So let's go over here. Follow my lead. And strike. Wait. Charge. No, no, no. We need to get rid of this guy first. Indeed. Because our poor sister. Uh, wait, let's see if I can... If I go like this, will this guy be damaged? Maybe, maybe not. It will be done. What? Okay, never mind. Yeah, he has to be like the final, the final uh, target uh, to do any damage. Okay, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. No! Damn it! The damage! <laughs> Okay, nice. That was an attack of opportunity. Healing combat. Medikit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, full and partial cover. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Nairveen, do something! Save the I'll day! I'll it personally. Mm okay. So this is seven, seven, seven. Uh, this guy has five left. Seven, eighteen. Okay, so these two cutthroats are the... Are the most dangerous ones. Let me analyze. On it. Okay, and now we might actually one shot this guy. I'll make it happen. Your okay, end nice. was inevitable. Noise. One to a target. Oh, okay, okay, let's try this on a group of enemies, shall we? This. We'll do. What an unfortunate turn Oh, of nice. Oh no, more heretics. They won't take me alive. Uh, can I do this at the end of the turn? How long does it, uh, how long does it last? Hold down one round. 
Pepper attack is an enemy within two seconds of the target immediately gains. Yeah, maybe like this is gonna be gone next turn and this was a waste of time. No, oh, well, let's see, let's see. Uh, should I get her over here? Oh, she can't walk anymore because I already. Yeah, I already wasted that chance. Oh no, yeah, still, see? It has the the debuff over here. <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't care if I get an attack of opportunity. I'm getting out of here. Uh oh, oh, see? Look, it shows. It shows how many people will be able to uh to target you if you go over here. Okay, how about here? Okay, just these two. Yeah, fine, this is still better. Look, 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 look. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Now we can finally shoot. So there's a single shot and there's burst. I don't see any reason to use burst here. So let's do a single shot. Uh, what's this? Here's recital. Momentum. Okay, let's do this. Faith without deradicated. Oh, nice. Damn. Okay, let's um, daddy, daddy, Aber Abelard. Let's see if he can do this. Right. Oh yes. Oh yes, he can. Look, 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 look. I Watch. will do my duty. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, still, still works. Victory is <gasps> imminent. Abelar is an MVP. That's good. Okay, let's finish this guy. Pull? Wait, why? Oh, okay. I'll see to it personally. You never stood a chance. Let's move a little bit over here. They who discern the future own the battlefield. And lightning. Lightning. <gasps> Easy clap. Anything is? Oh, he got he already got this. And now it, it's tax. Now it lasts for five uh, turns. Okay, nice to know. Um, need to move a little bit. Oof. It will be done. I took care of this one. Death to heretics. I will lead us to fortune. What's this? Oh no, Nairin is stuck. <laughs> the exact replica of the Von Valencia's avoid ship sits on the pedestal. Labels indicate the main compartment and decks of the vessel. The damned heretics have blocked the door, trembling at the thought of our approach. Oh wait. A melter charge will help. There's, oh, one there's a chance to open the door. Okay, I don't know. Tech 55. No Does it further. depend on what oh, character we have selected? Augment is not fit for a service. Oh, uh, okay. It depends yes. on what character we have. Something se ominous. We have ahead. selected. Let's see. Who has the highest chance of opening it? Sins hidden Sister. in the heart turn all to decay. Stop. 50. Okay, Nairine is. The, I have a nose for profit. Is the man for the job? For it won't open. The damn heretics ju have jammed the door. To hinder the righteous, no doubt. A melted charge will help. There's probably one around here somewhere. Hope. Huh? In order to open locked doors, clear rubble 
coerce machine spirits, and overcome other challenges. You can also use consumable items. To open the door in front of you, use a melted charge. On a successful demolition skill test, the door will be blown apart, allowing you to proceed. Melt a charge. Ooh. So, okay, blow the door up, demolition 90%. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, you just click on it like that? That's how it works. Need melt a charge. Oh, we don't have it. We need to go find it. Okay. There we go. There's loot. 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 There are a bunch of oopsies. There are a bunch of crates everywhere. I still don't know how to highlight uh, crates and stuff. I press alt all the time, but I don't think that's, that's the key for that. Where is it? It shows loot over here, but I don't. I don't Aha! There we go. Goods. There are two, uh, two chests here. Um, okay, that's for cargo. Another one. Uh huh. Goods. More goods. See, this is so convenient. It just shows you loot on the map. I guess this way you don't need to highlight anything because it's, it's well, all... What do we have here? It's all in your... Um, it's all shown in the map. Oh, okay, I see this thing. It's on the table here. Machine right set. Huh, for some reason this goes to inventory? And not to the cargo multi-key universal lock picking tool provides an additional opportunity to open a lock an expendable item Ooh, so we have a choice to lock pick uh, the door or blow it up oh no what's this no okay that's not i thought that was the um the explosives uh i don't see any Tab? Oh shit, thank you. Oh my god. I always have a backup oh, plan. Thank you so much! <laughs> oh, what do you make of this game so far? I really like it. it. It's played similar to the, you know, to the classic RPGs that I'm pretty much used to playing. The only thing that is confusing to me is uh, the universe, the uni universe of uh, Warhammer 40k, which I am totally unfamiliar with so I'm learning like if you like if you like Warhammer 40k and if you like classic RPGs this is a must I think Cajetary silent okay tap tap I need to keep your wits about you remember the Emperor protects cozy seating area is completely destroyed is there money to be made is there money to be made? Okay, let's go and look outside. We could use the lock pick. Like, we don't need this. I always keep my options open. Yeah, you know what? Let's go and try. Key. Available. Require. Oh, no. Damn, the lock pick doesn't work. Oh! Open the door. Logic! Machine. Okay, okay. We can do this. To open a gem door, click on the icon. Okay, okay, okay. I missed this. That's how it's done. Your character is about to make a tech use skill test and dialogue into your exploration. You will often make various skill tests and their result might, might determine how successful your character's efforts are. Make hidden dialogue options appear or reveal new information. Success of the test is determined by rolling in a 100-sided die. Each skill test has a difficulty uh, of up to 100 including negative values to succeed you must roll a value less than the sum of both uh, the stated difficulty and the value of the skill used for the test for example you are attempting a test with difficulty of minus 10 the higher each character's skill score the easier it is for them to, su to succeed on tests skill scores depend on the uh huh mm hmm okay yeah nice that was 100% so Oh, there it is! Goods. I, I just I, I should just collect them all. I don't even need to read, I think. Goods. 
Oh, that's there we go. Melt a charge. Operator's gloves. Ooh, I need this. I need this. Let me wear. Boom. Quip. Plus three bonus to tech use. Okay, now let's blow this this door up. I always get the job done. Yeah, 100 sided die. Apparently those exist. And I learned that not so long ago. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Okay, should I go after these guys? Or can I explore a little bit? Can I loot a little bit? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Always. There's a locked Keep your door. Eye on no, no, no. Before going through the locked doors. Uh, let's go, let's go explore the whole thing. This Leveling up. Oh, I forgot to level up! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Totally forgot. So, this time it's Keystone Features. Expose Weakness. Wait, don't I have this already? Okay, so we got Expose Weakness. Rank 3. Nice. GG's uh, Endure Until the warrior's next turn All incoming damage is reduced by uh, Toughness bonus And the warrior gains Plus toughness bonus temporary wounds uh, da, 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 Okay cool Thank you Next We got expose weakness to and with the sister, we got Revel and Slaughter. The soldier immediately removes the winded effect. Uh, until the end of the combat, the soldier gains the following bonuses. Plus 10 ballistic. Agility bonus critical damage. Okay, cool. Oh, let me select everyone. I always have a backup plan. Oh, the, 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 what's her name? Forgot. The roar of the flames rings in your ears, and the choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil from the scorching heat wiping your face. A moment later, a hazy silhouette forms in the raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by ear-splitting noise and screaming, yet you distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. Theodora, Theodora. It is Theodora von Valance, Valancius. Her expression terrifyingly, so for someone whose body is engulfed in an inferno. Uh, her expression, oh, her expression is calm. One of her hands is resting on the hilt of the power sword. The other is raised an inviting gesture. Are you lost, my heir? Argenta goes as still as a statue and slowly raises her weapon. An apparition! A sorceress apparition! Trickery of the warp! Sister, you will lower your weapon! Despite the commanding tone, Abelard does not sound too confident. He's staring at the rogue trader, and you notice a muscle in his cheek twitching. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous! Outra outrageous! Oh, so this is like an illusion. The, a warp illusion or something. I'm the voice actor. We don't need the voice actors. We are one. <laughs> Aren't you in pain? This is impossible. I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible, Nyrene. For your worldview is but a, an iota of what a rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell you that you would like me to share that knowledge with you. That power over reality. Theodora watches you without blinking. Her snare-like gaze almost makes you forget about the fire searing you, leaving burns on your skin. I can lead you out to out of these flames, Nyrene. Show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Her mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. 
the entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. And that answer can be nothing other than acceptance. No, do not listen to this abomination, Irene. If you, if there is not but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The emperor protects his faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises, deceitful promises. Nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. The void with you. Oh, to the void with you. We need to follow Lady Theodora. Before we suffocate in this furnace. The people. Abelor looks back at the coughing and confused people around you. Nyrene, the survivors from the middle decks. We must help the crew, lead them out, find a way around. Over the roaring flames, you hear distant sounds, frightened voices, screams, muffled and distorted, as if they were a body of water between you and them. Then we'll miss our chance to meet with, meet, meet up with Ed. Dear breaks off and starts coughing violently. Her knees buckle, and she looks like she's about to fall. Nyrene, what are we waiting for? convictions sometimes your character will have to make tough decisions based on their values interests and goals such decisions affect their convictions this can develop in three directions dogmatic oh oh my god this is kind of like in uh, in pathfinder i think it's a similar mechanic yeah dogmatic iconoclast iconoclast and heretical each includes five ranks okay this is like lawful and neutral and chaotic the higher the rank the more zealously the character follows their convictions and the more noticeably the world around them reacts to their actions and decisions promotion through the ranks of each of the three directions open up access to new dialogue lines events unique abilities and also changes the attitude of others towards your character. Also, some items can only be equipped by characters with certain convictions. Oh, this is so interesting. When one of the convictions branches, uh, reaches rank 3, votary, it becomes the character's main focus. When that happens, the other two conviction branches cannot be raised above rank 2, adherent. Your character's allies have convictions of their own as well. Where do I see it? Okay, we cannot look through that. So we, we can choose either dogmatic, heretical, or iconoclast. Iconic, I, 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 I know how to pronounce it. Iconoclast. Uh, so walk through the fire. The emperor will guide the righteous on their path. Heretical. Accept the offer of help. Take my pain away and give me power. Or the iconoclast. Get the people, get the people off the bridge. I will not leave my people in harm's way. I kind, I am kind of torn between the dogm dogmatic and the e e iconoclast. I want to help the people. Like, look, look at them. But you know, I don't know in Warhammer if helping people uh, benefits you in any way. <laughs> So <laughs> maybe I should do the dogmatic would be uh, would be uh, badass AF walking through the flames and my faith in the emperor protects me. So, but you know I feel bad for these people. You know what? Let's go. Let's let's do the dog dogmatic one. But the daddy, daddy, daddy wants me to help people. Okay, I'm gonna help people. I'm sorry. I will not leave people in harm's way. So we got plus 15 for that. You look away and the illusion breaks. The unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn and the voices of the people beyond the shroud of smoke grow stronger and hopeful when soon your companions rush back, ba barking orders and guiding the survivors. In your determination, you completely forgot about Theodora and when you turn your head, you see nothing but the bellowing fire. So it was, it was an illusion after all. Back, fall back. We will go around. Okay, I don't regret. I don't regret. So, maybe if we chose the first one, we would be able to pass through the flames uh, unharmed, right? 
but we didn't. Let us. Uh, not so we need to find our way around. Where did she it go? The thing that was standing in front of us in the fire? I could have sworn. To the same place all unholy visions go. Do you want to follow it, witch? 